Hello, and welcome to Organ Miniatures, a weekly video series aimed at demystifying the organ. I am your host, Rob Lubinsky. Let's begin. In the last few weeks, we have learned about the pipes that make up the organ and the various keyboards, which are called manuals. If you missed either of those videos, you can find a link to them in the description. This week, we're going to learn about the pedals. Many different musicians use their feet. Pianists, drummers, even electric guitar players. But the organ takes the use of the feet to a whole new level, and it gives them their own independent line. Now, you may be wondering, we have all these manuals that make all these different sounds, so why does it have to be so complicated and add notes to the feet as well? Well, for the answer to that question, you need only look to your favorite band or orchestra, as the case may be. Most bands have a bass player who plays the really low notes that give a foundation to the sound. These low notes are very important to the flow of the music and help to move it forward, and there's no exception to this when it comes to the organ. The organ was designed to be a one-man band or a one-man orchestra, and like any band, we need those low sounds to help carry the music forward. Let me play a little example for you from a well-known piece of popular music. First, I will play just the chords, and then I will add the pedal to it so you can see just how important that sound is. The frequency of that lowest note is about 16 hertz. As the organ has evolved, the pedal has become more and more important to the point where it is sometimes featured prominently in pieces of music. There are even solos written for the organ pedals. Now, as the pedals are primarily used for the lower notes and that foundation, we don't have nearly as many notes on the pedal as we do on the manuals. In fact, the pedal board compass is only 32 notes as compared to the 61 on each of the manuals. So, now you know a little bit more about the pedals and their importance to the organ. But, I haven't answered the one question that I am asked most about playing the organ, which is, is it hard to play with your hands and feet at the same time? The answer to that question is absolutely not. Learning to play the organ is no different than learning to do anything else. You do it one step at a time and you add a little bit here and a little bit there. So when you start learning how to play the pedals, you're usually just holding one note down while your hands are playing. And you build up the ability to do that. Learning to play the organ is no more difficult than learning to play any other instrument. So don't be intimidated by the fact that you have to play with your hands and feet if you think you might be interested in playing this magnificent instrument. So that's all for today. Next week, we will pull out all the stops, as the saying goes. In the meantime, if you have any questions about anything you've seen here today, please feel free to ask in the comments, and I will do my best to answer each question. See you next week.